What is going on everyone? I'm not gonna lie to you. I just recorded this video once and it's two o'clock in the morning. I wanted to make a video for y'all and here I am. Today I want to talk about my six most exciting projects for 2022. So this will be in order from least exciting to most exciting. These all have tremendous upside, but they also have tremendous risk. I've been trading digital assets for the last five years. I know that might be crazy to say because crypto has only been around for, for like the last two. I mean, like since it's gotten big, but I've known about digital assets and I've been studying uh, digital asset markets for the last five years. Now, I'm talking about video game skins, but they're still digital assets and it's something that people didn't realize and something people laughed at and it's not until this year where uh, people are beginning to finally understand why these digital assets are having value and why they're worth so much. We're going to start off with number six. So before I get started in this video, don't buy any of these NFTs unless you're okay with the value of them being zero. You buy it like only if it would actually bring value to your life in the terms of what you're getting. All right, number six, we've got Taboo Punks. All right, this is for my 18 plus only, all right? <laughs> this is, a, it's a very explicit project, all right? They do have a coin, and I'll show you how that's been going. I'm not making this video to talk about the coin, though. I'm very interested in just these punks. They've been taking the Ethereum needed to mint them for the last, like, six months now. And I purchased them in around uh, September or August. They cost around 0 0.035 Ethereum each at the time, and I'm not even going to tell you how much that was worth then but i purchased three of them and i still have not received them no one has but they just officially stopped minting last week now we're supposed to get news on when they are going to start airdropping them very soon this is a very unique project and it's more than just the punk itself it's more than just the fact that it's a it's a, a attractive lady the team has also promised a ridiculous amount of utility coming from these punks in order to understand the utility these will provide, you kind of have to understand what the coin will do. And what they've said, depending on how much you put in the stake on the coin, you will get different tiers to their website, to their adult exclusive premium website. Now what that means is, to, in order to get access to the highest tier, which I believe you, uh, you have to put in $50,000 or you have to stake $50,000 worth of taboo. For tier four, I believe it's around 10,000 or 25,000. Now what these give you is tier four access without having to pay that three thousand dollar premium which us which we don't know if taboo is going to deliver on what they're promising on what they're saying but if they do we could see this being a really big deal now taboo is still number one when it comes to adult crypto market caps and these taboo punks i'm really bullish on they have launched their marketplace already and they've had to take it down a few times but they're looking to launch it again but they've created other nfts and it's more than just the taboo punks now the real the real reason i'm bullish on it is just because of the utility you know they should be worth ten thousand dollars if it plays out right i mean obviously i don't think they're going to actually be worth ten thousand dollars but who knows you know big dreams maybe you get invites to the mansion um the taboo mansion you know but like Honestly, I high key think this project's a scam. And they're just like, trust, trust, and don't ever trust anyone who just asked you to trust them because it's more likely that they're going to take your money. And in terms of taboo punks, like, don't, don't buy these at all. Like, this is sus. And the marketplace is about to drop, and we could see a huge dip on these. Like, I could see them going for as low as 50 bucks because people have been waiting on these for a very long time. And so that might be your chance to snag up 50 or 60 of them. <laughs> Coming in at number five, we have Susables. Yeah, you heard me right, Susables. These are officially licensed Dr. Seuss NFT collecting experience. These are going to be, they're, they're, they're honestly probably the least riskiest on this list, but they also probably have the least potential upside as well. These are really safe plays. In 10 years, they're gonna be around and they're gonna be worth something. It's not gonna make you rich, but you could have a lot of fun. One thing I really like about this project is that they're extremely genuine. They're not worried with being the biggest NFT project. They're not promising random stuff. Their, their website doesn't have 1500 promises like Taboo Coin, you know? It just has what it has and it talks about what it is and it doesn't pretend to be something it's not. And I really love that about this. One of the downsides is, is it is only on the Apple App Store. So I had to get my iPhone out for this one, but, but the packs are only $5 a piece and they have stickers and badges and um, all these and all different kind of Dr. Seuss characters character forms, if that makes sense. 
So let's move on to the next one. Now, my fourth favorite is going to be Gap Threads, all right? And they're currently running a promotion with Frank Ape. It is, the, in fact, the first promotion, and you will be able to bid on this, this NFT for this single edition art piece. And it's probably gonna go for $100,000 or probably 10 or 20. Now, if you can get your hands on that, great. All right, that's probably gonna be worth a lot in 10 years because it is Gap, a $7 billion company. But if you're just a little guy like me, you can see the things that they currently have um, for purchase are some of these cheaper are some of these cheaper uh, hoodies. Like for example, they have these common colors, and they also have the rare colors like the gold, rose gold, silver, and copper. And so the reason why I'm bullish on this project and the reason why I like it a little bit is because if you own some of these uh, pieces, they are actually getting burned with each drop that comes. And honestly, I don't really want to explain the whole project. You should go watch the video. Long story short, we could see a lot of these commons being burned in the future and therefore right lowering the supply and rising the price. Now, if you're smart, you're going to pick up anything that isn't a common because the ones that are rares and the level tiers above rares are going to be the original gap nfts and they're going to be around for years and people are going to remember it if they choose to keep going with this and they choose to keep rolling out these rare drops the comments could just keep burning and i explained that all in my other video so go check that out all right recur i also made a video on this one the general gist is recur is going to be their own nft marketplace not like open c marketplace where anyone can list any nft whenever they want to whomever it's going to be more like an Amazon marketplace where you buy from Amazon from the distributors that they sell and the things that they're selling. So, for example, some of the first drops to come for Recur are going to be Hello Kitty, Rugrats, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is going to be absolutely insane. Hello Kitty is currently the second highest grossing franchise in the entire world. But that's not why I'm bullish on this project. The easiest way I can describe what one of these passes are is a seller's license. Now, I want you to imagine that you have the opportunity to work at a car dealership. Now, for each car sale that you make, you will make $3,000. Tell me why wouldn't you pay $720 for a license to do that, especially when the selling the car is as easy as a couple of clicks. Anyone in their right mind would make that choice in a heartbeat and would choose to make that decision very quickly. Now, in order, to, in order to participate in these future drops, you're going to need one of these recur passes. Now, there are about 70,000 of these passes altogether, and they are going for a floor price of $720. So, as a holder of the recur pass, you will be a part of an exclusive group that can participate in exclusive drops, which then you'll be able to take that exclusivity that you have, that you paid for, and use it to profit off of it. You know, you are able to get one of these Hello Kitty drops, great, you list onto OpenSea, you sell it for $400, and bam, you make half of your investment back. So in terms of risk, we really don't know what if $720 is too much. Well, personally, I, I just have one pass so I can participate in those drops, but that's really all I'm worried about it. I don't see the pass as an investment. I just see it as a doorway to get into something, and I really just want to get into some of these drops. Go check out my other video explaining the entire thing. All right, guys, now this is actually pretty new, like literally like four days kind of new. This is UFC Strike. So this is actually really new. This is UFC Strike. We're seeing these highlight moments from these MMA fight from these UFC fighters that are kicking ass in the Onagon. It's also through the same company that Seuss is and NBA Top Shot is, but this is extremely popular. All right. We've seen that the UFC has uh, apparently, ac according to Google, the UFC has like 270 million fans uh, worldwide, which is an extremely impressive number. Their pack odds literally came down to this 0.375% chance to get one champion moment or two contender moments and 99.6% to get three con just regular contender moments. So you only had a 0.375% chance of getting a champion moment. To put that into perspective, the only ones that are going to really be worth a lot of money are going to be these champion one moments one champion moment now 50 bucks for a pack i was able to get in on the drop like literally the moment i learned about ufc strike they were doing a drop right there in front of me for a hundred thousand packs and i thought to myself hundred thousand seems a bit high but there's got to be a reason why they're doing it you know and each pack came with three different collectibles which means there's currently 300,000 of these NFTs in existence in Series 0. Now, 300,000 for the first series is a very hefty number, and I'm going to find it kind of hard to see my $50 return in the short term. That being said, the $100,000 100, packs sold out 
within uh, four hours or something like that. Probably less than that, because probably probably within two hours or so, people that were lucky enough to get the the champion cards are going to make a lot of money. And frankly, if you can figure out a way to pick up a champion card for less than five thousand dollars, you're sitting very pretty because these are going to be very important in the same way in the exact same way that if you go into NBA Top Shot and you try and buy a Kobe Bryant moment, they're going for half a million dollars, you know? I don't know if that number's true, but you know what I'm trying to say. I'm currently just holding on to these guys, you know, from the pack that from the one pack that I did get. Hopefully the three of them together make my investment back. But we don't know. The coolest thing about these three right here are that they are series zero. And I will imagine that as soon as the marketplace drops, there's going to be a huge sell off for these series zero. And if you're thinking about a long term hodl, a long term play, anything series zero is going to be a worthy buy, even if you, you're paying uh, 50 bucks for one of these. Now, I believe there's going to be a huge dump just because people are just going to want to get rid of these. They don't, they're like, oh, they're, they're, these are pretty much worthless. And you're going to be able to pick up some really sweet deals. So if you can get in on these, 10 to 20 bucks you know you might want to go ahead and pull the trigger last and not least vv digital collectibles now, so if you've been on my channel for more than five minutes you already know that i am very bullish on vv and i really enjoy this project in terms of potential upside it's gotten pretty low just because of the huge amount of growth the huge amount of explosive growth it's had in the last a couple of months but in terms of risk, I honestly find it very low. VV has been working on the less, on their collectibles for the last four years since 2018. I personally got in last year in March, but I wish that I kept buying because each collectible that I purchased then has like quadrupled or like like six x sent in just one year. Um, and if I kept if I stayed on the app and I kept making right decisions and I kept looking at the market and what was going on and staying up with the trends that 6x could have easily been 200 like 200x but unfortunately i did get off the app for a little while because when i was there it was in beta there was nothing going on i couldn't sell my collectibles i couldn't buy them from someone else all the only option i had was to keep putting on more money and i said i'm not sure when the they're going to release the mtl i'm not sure when they're going to be able to withdraw money so i'm not feeling that kind of risk right now why i put vv at the number one spot on this list disney Marvel, DC, comics, Cartoon Network. Some of the biggest brands and IPs that you could possibly think of are on this app. Warner Brothers, Pokemon. Now Pokemon isn't on the app yet, but in terms of what we do have, it's just too too amazing. If you can pick up anything series 1, anything that came out, anything that came out last year, you're going to be sitting very pretty when people start learning about this app. They're going to do so many things with it from the gamification to your NFTs, to the utility of your NFTs, to just straight up brand awareness additionally they have a pegged omi token the omi token has the largest upside potential because no one's been able to purchase it for the last year just because of certain circumstances honestly i'm more bullish on the nfts than i am the coin just because if you buy the right ones and you like like the very first spider-man on the app like you can't go wrong with that investment you're buying the very first marvel spider-man nft digital collectible the very first disney digital collectible in terms of risk i give it a three out of ten because there's not there's not a much fighting against this app okay there's a lot of good things in its favor and they haven't even launched official marketing yet they this is literally insider information this is beta information this was this app isn't even fully complete yet it's currently 2 30 in the morning we are going to make lots of gains this year 2022 is going to be huge if this video helped you in any way shape or form all i ever ask from you is to smash the like button okay that's all i ever want that's all i ever ask y'all take care and have a wonderful day <laughs> oh me oh me's.